Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. God, it's been a while since I filmed. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are well. Today I'm here to do a really exciting video. It finally arrived, my Melt Cosmetics palette. Oh, so if you don't know what this palette is, this is the Amour Ye Maliposas uh, palette. I apologise for the mispronunciation or anything that I do in this video because I... I'm not Mexican, so I um, I'm unable to pronounce words in a certain way, so I do apologise in advance. But I have waited so long for this palette to be released and to actually like come to the UK. So I ordered it on Beauty Bay. Um, I think it came out about a week and a half ago, and only during this week it came out on Beauty Bay. And of course, I ordered it straight away because. I'm on that website every day. <laughs> I'm on the app every day just waiting. Not even for just things in general. Just like, I just, yeah, I love Beauty Bay. So, um, yeah, this palette finally arrived. It cost £55, which I was actually really surprised about because I thought it was going to be more expensive because in the US, I believe it's $70. And if you want to buy the whole collection, it's like two hundred dollars or something like that um which i would not get but um yeah the beauty bay only had the eyeshadow palette and the blush i didn't want to get the blush set because it was 45 pounds for six blushes i don't need that many but um yeah if you haven't seen this um palette before i'll show you guys i want to show you the outer packaging first because it's stunning by itself so as i showed you this is the actual like outer casing but inside it's made, it's got velvet in there. Like normally I throw, I tend to throw away packaging like this, but this packaging is not going anywhere. This is just so soft. I didn't even realize it was that type of effect. Cause I've seen a couple of reviews, uh, but no one really talks about the box, but I thought I would mention that. And this is the outside of the palette. How stunning, how absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you guys a bit closer. So you might not see my face for a minute, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this is, the whole palette is based around butterflies. And I believe, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but the whole, um, you know, it's part of death and, you know, butterflies reincarnation, I think. Um, but this is an absolutely stunning palette. And actually the, the outside packaging is really soft as well. So you've got this really soft bit here. You've got the risen parts of the actual butterflies. So when you kind of, turn it you can see that they're risen um and this heart as well is fantastic and on the back you get the butterflies as well which are absolutely stunning i love butterflies they're just beautiful creatures just so harmless and just so stunning um and then when you open this palette oh my god i'll show you the mirror first i don't know how i'm going to show you without showing the mess of my house um so yeah this is the palette you've got the kind of um, Amor Yi uh, Mariposas at the top and then you've got the palette itself which is like I've been talking about this palette for ages as to how much I want it the shade selections are just outstanding you've got a gorgeous selection of greens and you've got some purples and some reds and some kind of like nice nude tones as well um, and I'm just so happy that I got it I really really have waited so long like this was um like as a birthday gift my sister gave me some money and i was like i'm putting some of that money towards this palette because i knew beauty bay were gonna get it but sometimes they don't get everything which is a bit annoying but um what i'm actually gonna do i'm actually gonna put my sellotape on because <laughs> i'm starting with my eyes today and my p louise base and then we'll get into the eyeshadow Okay, so the only reason that I am putting down the P. Louise base today is because these are actually all pressed pigments. Well, not the shimmers, obviously, but um, I'm not, I don't understand why brands put pressed pigments into these type of palettes because that means that they're not safe for the eye, um, which is <laughs> pretty stupid because this is an eyeshadow palette. So let's have a look at what we're going to work with today. And I kind of feel like going in with a bit of a kind of purplish look today i mean to go with my dress i'm going out tonight it's my friend's birthday so i'm actually first night out in god knows how long um i kind of feel like doing some of the purples and maybe a little bit of the red um i would like to have gone with the greens maybe next time i'll do the greens um 
just because obviously green is like one of my favorite shades at the moment so again i apologize if i butcher any of the names of the shades i'm just not very good at pronouncing so let's move over just a little bit um and let's start off with alamonda just here so if you guys need a bit of focus so the embossing on these are absolutely gorgeous so i'm taking my flat brush and I'm going in very light handed because I feel like there might be some fallout. So I'm going to start off on my crease, on, sorry, on my crease, on my uh, corner um, for my sellotape because that is going to give me the kind of, def you know, the definition that I want. So if you guys have been watching me recently, you know that Melt Cosmetics are like one of my favorite brands at the moment. Um, anything that they pretty much most things that they release I want to buy like straight away there's a couple of things that I haven't like on Beauty Bay they have their lip pencils at the moment as much as I'd like to get them it's like 15 pounds for a lip pencil and I'm kind of not really that bothered about lip pencils at the moment um, but maybe one day when they get a few more things out there then I'll maybe pick up um, a lip pencil to do like a full face of melt maybe one day but a majority of their stuff that I have purchased I have been all over like you guys know that I love their blush their cream blush and their um, kind of illuminating highlighter which has just been absolutely stunning recently um, and I'm always raving on about that blush anyway like a lot of people are just like yeah we get it you like it shut up about it but melt have been a brand that I um, I kind of wish I got into earlier like they did that Beetlejuice collection which everyone was raving about and had said amazing things um, and I'm a big fan of Beetlejuice as well like Tim Burton is just one of my favorite directors ever um, and yeah having Beetlejuice and makeup was an amazing idea I just because uh, it was limited edition so that shows me <laughs> so that first shade amazing like really really pigmented of course that is like a mess but i will clean everything up i promise i tend to make a mess and then make it look nice afterwards so we're gonna go in next with another purple of course this is called noob just here so this is a really bright purple i'm gonna put this in the middle and i am going to hope that it sticks as well so let's go here I don't know if I'm going like really over the top with this look today because obviously for my friend's birthday but you know what I don't go out that much anymore and so for me to kind of like dress up a little bit and I mean I didn't do anything for my birthday so I guess there's a nice reason to go out and be extra <laughs> extra pretty tonight but yeah how have you guys been doing it's so weird when I know like when youtubers do that but genuinely I don't get to film in the week because I've been working so much um, I basically did like six days in a row um, this week because my rotor had changed so I was supposed to have Friday off but we changed and I had to do six days and it's been crazy busy because it's been Black Friday um, which again I don't know why the UK have taken on this type of thing but it's another reason for a holiday isn't it like a, another kind of like discount thing even though like it's um, you know Thanksgiving which is an American thing um but yeah it was been it's just been crazy busy at work so I haven't been like coming home at a decent time I've been like doing 10 hour shifts and it's insane but I still really enjoy my job which is so crazy because you know the whole I've already mentioned it so much about working in retail and how I never enjoyed it but now I've kind of found a new place that I enjoy. So let's hope, let's hope it stays that way. So yeah, this is Noob. That's going on really nicely. I know it looks a bit mad. But again, we will trust the process. Because I promise you guys it will hopefully look better. So let's now go in. I kind of want to go in with a bit of a nude tone. So this is a darker tone at the top called Maria. And I'm taking a very small brush to go um, in the remaining section of my eye. So that is just going to take over the rest of the lid. And I cannot wait to use this again because, again, those greens oh, are absolutely stunning. That, that top row of greens are insane. And that those kind of shimmers, I'm a bit... Um, 
hesitant to use but I will probably still use them like the glitters really um, I'm not a glitter person but I will still <laughs> use it obviously to kind of have a look but again be very careful guys when you do like pressed pigments and when you do these type of glitters because brands write you know the disclosure on there but you just have to be very careful and they're like oh do at your own risk and blah 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 which you know is true and fair enough but still brands I feel should not do anything like this it's not um it's not good but anyway so far this is very gorgeous I know I don't look right because of the lighting it's like three o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday and it already feels like it's like eight o'clock in the evening because it's so gloomy right now um, but we're doing the best we can with the lighting so I apologize but yeah this is looking amazing so far I might use one of the lighter shades on my lower lash line afterwards maybe um, but now let's go in with the shimmer and I don't know if I want to um, use a setting spray as well because there's one two three four five six shimmers um, and I kind of feel like going in with Sag Sagrado, Sagrado, just here, um, and we'll see how that works. And if it doesn't work with um, just a brush, I will use a spray. So let's pray this works. I'm tap off any excess because although I have done, ooh, um, I haven't done my base yet. I still want to be quite careful with what I do. Uh, that is stunning. I'm tapping it on because if I blend it, it probably loses the the shimmerness. If that, <laughs> the shimmerness, if that makes any sense. Oh, that is stunning. And I'm just using a flat brush by Spectrum, so I'm not using any like fancy brushes. Spectrum are fancy, but anyway. Okay, that is that is gorgeous. Let me see how it works with my finger because. That might give it a bit more oomph. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. That is absolutely stunning. I am so happy I picked up this palette. Honestly, it was. It's, it's weird because I haven't felt like this. Um, like needing to buy a new palette recently. I just tend to if I buy makeup, it's just stuff that. I want to use to review or if it's a really good deal or on sale then I'll pick it up but this has been honestly like it's been on my mind constantly to purchase it and I was tempted to get it from um, like America where or wherever it's coming from um, but then I was like no we'll have some patience to kind of see if it comes to Beauty Bay to save on shipping or any type of customs because a lot of places probably still do customs these days and just I don't want to pay customs because I don't want to give any government more of my money because I feel like I don't need to do that but what I'm actually going to do now I'm going to go off camera probably do the rest of my face because I don't need to do it on camera because nothing else is new and nothing else in the collection was really on Beauty Bay and I really wanted the lipsticks but they didn't have them so I will be right back Okay, I'm back with a full face and everything I use I do uh, mention in my description. There are a couple of uh, Melt Cosmetics items I like to use as my blush and highlighter but let's maybe add something in my inner corner and maybe add something on my lower lash line. I did bring some brushes out for that but if I can find them on my table. There we go. So um, I kind of feel like going in with a shimmer on my inner corner because obviously the you know the inner corner is there to pop a bit so let's try uh tequila which is just here i'm not a fan of tequila oh it's one of the worst things i've ever drunk in my whole life <laughs> okay uh let's get this on in the inner corner and it's so weird having to wear like this much makeup in such a long time because like i mentioned i don't like wear much outside of me filming um and when I go to work, I just wear eye eyeshadow sometimes because I wear a mask all day. So there's no point in me wearing a full face um, as much as I would like to. Okay, 
So that's my inner corner looking lovely. And let's just go in with something quite light on my lower lash line. Um, I kind of feel like going in with a completely different shade. I don't know if that's just really stupid of me. Um, and let's go in with um, uh, Nueva Ni Vida. Nueva Nida? Vida. Can't talk. Uh, <laughs> Nevi. No, it's fine. I will just, um, I think I was kind of right the first time. I'm going to go really lightly on my lower lash line because I don't want it to be too outstanding. That's it. That's all I'm going to add on there. Yep. Less is better, even though I don't need to put on anything on my lower lash line, but I'm still going to. Amazing. Well, that is me using, finally, <laughs> using my most anticipated palette of for a very long time. I am really happy with this palette. I'm so happy that I purchased it and that it's in my hands and, you know, what they've done with it. Like I said, I will be using it again. Maybe in a video I'll do, um, like, another look of, you know, Melt Cosmetics stuff because I tend to have a lot of their products. I would like to have used the lipstick today, but because of longevity... I put on a different liquid lipstick by XX Revolution. This is one that I just like to use. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the palette, again, I'll see how my eyes look when I take off my makeup because, again, they're pressed pigments. So that means that they will stain your eyes if you maybe don't add a thick layer below it all. But I, lo I like everything, the way it kind of blends and the way that the shades kind of take to each other and yeah I'm so happy let me know if you have picked up this palette what you think of it if you're going to buy it if you're not interested if you don't like melt if you do like melt just let me know and thank you so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to literally um don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active on there and you get to see what i'm up to on a daily basis when i'm not working and thank you so much guys i hope you're well i hope you're healthy happy and you're safe and i'll see you soon bye <laughs>